presented by Church Tech U. It's the Pro Presenter Show. On today's show, how to live stream to multiple locations. Three different ways to do it, too. Hi, and welcome again to the Pro Presenter Show. This is the show where I help you learn all about Pro Presenter. My name is Paul Allen Clifford. One of the things that Renewed Vision added in uh, Pro Presenter 7, actually starting with 7.1, was the ability to live stream. But what if your church or organization wants to live stream to both Facebook and YouTube at the same time? Well, there are a couple of ways to do it, and so I thought we'd talk about those today. So let's head over to my computer and we'll take a look. So here we are in ProPresenter, and uh, first off, let me show you this, why it won't necessarily work. If we go into um, Capture Settings, you'll notice that we have a choice for RTMP. If you're on uh, ProPresenter 7.3 or later, you'll also notice that you have the choice for Resi, and we'll talk about that here in a second. But there's only one place for an address and only one place for a streaming key. So how can you take multiple addresses and multiple streaming keys and therefore send it to multiple places. Well, you can't using this method unless you do this. So here, let me drag this off to the side just to make sure that we don't lose it. So the first thing here is you can use Resi. Now, Resi is a paid for service and it's kind of on the high end of what churches like to pay for, unless they're very large churches. So that's the first thing that I wanted to tell you, is you could use the built-in service that I showed you over here in uh, Pro 7 just by changing to Resi and using your information, you can have that set up to where it automatically sends to multiple places at the same time. So that's the first way. But as I say, some churches don't want to spend the money. They think that uh, the quality that Resi gives them, which it's great. I personally really like it, but maybe in their mind, it's just not a justified expense to pay for that. So how can you do it other ways? Well, you can still use RTMP like this, but instead of sending it directly to YouTube or sending it directly to um, Facebook, send it to a third party that then sends it to those two places. So going back over to the web browser, there are a couple that are known for this. Restream, and that's located at restream.io, or Caster, and that's C-A-S-T-R dot I-O. Either one of those, just look for which is the better deal in your particular situation and uh, find that and go with that one. Maybe you have another reason to go with one over the other. They're not free, but they're less expensive than Resi. Downside is they don't use Resi's uh, resilient uh, protocol that is part of why Resi is a little bit more expensive. So those are your next two options. The third option is if you were to send the output of ProPresenter to a computer that's using OBS, um, then you can do that. So I have found the link right there. That's this last one. And you'll notice that we have a discussion on uh, this board about different ways. There's actually a new plugin that you can download that will interface with OBS if you're using Open Broadcaster software, uh, which is this free software that live streams. So you wouldn't be doing it directly in ProPresenter. You'd be outputting either 
if it's to another computer via NDI or if it's on the same Mac um, or you'd use NDI if it was on the same computer and you're on Windows but if it's on the same Mac you could use Siphon by creating screens here in the configure screens dialog creating either an NDI screen if that's appropriate or a uh, siphon screen if that one is appropriate to you and uh, OBS can see either of those if you go with NDI it needs yet another plugin so make sure you download that and so those are the three ways to do that to send your live stream to multiple locations in ProPresenter 7. Just to recap, Resi, most expensive, most reliable of these three methods. Um, in addition to sending it multiple places, it also has uh, the added benefit of being a more resilient stream. That's why it's called Resi, because it's resilient. Secondly, using a third-party service like the two I mentioned, Restreamio or Caster, and third, using uh, OBS directly. Now, one thing I want to tell you about that. If you barely have enough upload speed to send one stream, the OBS route is not the solution for you. So you might think, hey, this is the free thing, but you need to either upgrade your internet service or maybe you can't upgrade your internet service. So that's not an option. So I did want to mention that as well. So those are your three options for sending live streams to multiple places in ProPresenter 7. If you like this content, I bet you'd like my uh, ProPresenter 7 Quick Start course. So just go to tdm.fyi slash pro7quick and then just put in your name and email address there and I'll get you a login automatically so that you can take that course. Until next time, this is Paul Allen Clifford from TrinityDigitalMedia.com and ChurchTechU.com reminding you to go out and change eternity.